Hello guys and welcome back to our highlights from our game against Salisbury. The Hampshire Derby got off to a lively start with shots coming thick and fast. The initial shot came from Bradley Tarbuck with his shot being lashed wide at the post. Following this Ramos continued the attack. As usual Ramos did brilliant to work himself into the Salisbury half and good feet saw him escape numerous players. However he couldn't find anyone in the box and the ball returned back to Salisbury possession. Although Burrow got off to the better start, it would be the away team to get the opener. A brilliant solo run from Coppin saw the attacker with good angle at goal. Still 20 yards out from goal, Coppin launched the shot into the top corner, making the score 1-0 to the visitors. Following the goal, Wooden tried to ease lock from range. After intercepting the ball, the striker instincts must have kicked in. Audaciously, the striker tried shooting from 25 yards out. However, it went straight into the keeper's palms. Afterwards, Gosport went on the counter-attack. Kavanagh in the right-hand channel played Tarbuck on the overlap. Pondering whether to shoot or pass, the midfielder went for the first option, hitting a shot straight at good. Burrow even had the ball in the back of the net with 10 minutes left of the half. A free kick saw Kavanagh whip a ball into Jordan, who smashed the ball past good, seeing the shot slam against the net. Only for the referee to later chalk the goal out for offside. It was keeper Toby Stewart who would forbid any more goals in the first half though. A string of passes eventually saw Ashton fire a couple shots at goal. This forced Stewart into making back-to-back -back saves, ensuring the half only finished 1-0 to Salisbury. Personally, I think this game proved that we are truly a second half team. Immediately coming out, the score will quickly be reset to level terms with Ramos getting an equaliser. Ramos did extremely well to escape his man, seeing the striker turn and set up a good angle at goal. The goal machine would then finish off the attack in true striker fashion by placing a low driven shot into the bottom corner to level the score. The Whites did come close to regaining their lead after Ashton in the left hand channel played a pass across to Coppin in front of goal. With an open net in front of him the goal scorer somehow placed a shot wide at the post in a very near scare for Borough. It could have very easily been 2-1 to Salisbury thanks to the previous chance, however it would be goal scorer Ramos to get the next goal. The corner whipped in found Jordan with the defender using his height to head it down to Ramos just yards out from goal. The Portuguese and smashed it home to give us the lead for the first time in the game, with this also being Rafa's fourth in the last two matches. After spending a short period out, Diaz was close to marking his return back with a goal. Magical free from Dan Wooden saw the striker switch the ball on to Diaz just in front of him. Taking a shot, the winger blazed the ball just wide at the top corner thanks to a smart deflection from Smith. Tension soon started to rise as the game grew, with fans about to witness two red cards. The first red was shown to Williams. Already on a yellow, the player must have said something to the referee in order to earn himself his second yellow, resulting with the gospel skipper being sent off. Shortly after, the Salisbury skipper followed him, purposely tripping down Wooden after a counter-attack saw John Botti see his second yellow of the game and reduced both sides to 10 men for the last 10 minutes. Like last week, the referee conjured up an additional 7 minutes. Also following in the steps of last week, we conceded in the dire moments of the game. The man who got the first goal, Coppin, was left unmarked on the edge of the box. Producing a similar shot to the previous goal, the striker diced the ball past Stewart to level the score, sending us to a penalty shootout. Shooting towards our fans, it would be Salisbury with the first penalty. Up stood Ashton who fired a shot down the middle to get the shootout underway. Obviously, Dan Wooden converted his penalty after rocketing a ball into the top corner, and Gosport would actually go on to convert the remaining penalties, seeing Jordan and Kavanagh both convert their pens. However, the man of the moment was our young keeper, Toby Stewart. Stewart managed to save three of his four penalties he faced, and after saving the last one against Coppin, he was given a standing ovation. And with that, Stewart quite literally saved us, resulting with us beating Salisbury 3-2 on penalties. A brilliant team performance, but a big well done to both Toby and Rafa for their superb performances. Likely a result to live long in the memory of Borough fans. And next up, we will return to league action as we face Dorchester. But final words from me, up the Borough. <laughs>